American Secretary of State tries to stop Iranian weapons supply planes from flying over Iraq to Syria, and Cyprus tries to avoid the collapse of its economy. I'm Christopher Cruz in Washington. American Secretary of State John Kerry told the Iraqi Prime Minister in Baghdad on Sunday that the United States is not happy about Iranian weapons supply flights to Syria over Iraqi airspace. The two had what Mr. Kerry called a spirited discussion about the flights. The United States says Iran says planes full of arms almost every day to Syrian troops and flies over Iraqi airspace in the process. Iran says it is sending only humanitarian aid. Mr. Kerry told reporters he made it, in his words, very clear to the Iraqi prime minister that Iraq should stop or at least inspect the planes. Mr. Kerry did not say how Mr. Maliki responded to the request. The Cypriot president met in Brussels Sunday with global lenders engaged in emergency negotiations on rescuing the country's banks. Nikos Anastasiatis met with officials from the European Union, the European Central Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. If an agreement is not reached by Monday, the country could be forced into bankruptcy. Banks in Cyprus could collapse, and the country could be forced out of the Eurozone. That could hurt the Euro, which could hurt the European economy. Cyprus tried and failed twice last week to get a $13 billion emergency loan. The former president of Pakistan returned to his country Sunday despite threats against his life. As Ghul reports from Islamabad that few people greeted him at the airport. Former Pakistan Army General Parvez Musharraf arrived in Karachi on a flight from Dubai, ending four years of exile. As was expected by many in Pakistan, only a few hundred supporters gathered outside the airport to welcome the man who seized power in a bloodless military coup in 1999 and who went on to rule the country for nearly a decade. The former military man sounded upbeat about regaining political influence as he briefly addressed the small crowd shouting slogans in his support. General Musharraf mocked critics who said personal threats to his safety and pending legal proceedings would keep him away. As the former military commando put it, I have risked my life but I want to save Pakistan. Ayaz Gul for VOA News, Islamabad. Salika rebels have captured the capital of the Central African Republic, Bangui, and the presidential palace. President Francois Bozizé has fled. It is not known where he is. Some reports say he fled across the border into the Democratic Republic of Congo. But DRC officials say he is not there. Witnesses said there was heavy fighting early Sunday as the rebels fought their way through the capital. The rebels have ignored requests by the Prime Minister of the Central African Republic to meet. The 30-year-old uh, Tibetan woman set herself on fire Sunday in Tishuan province in China. Witnesses say the mother of four died. More than 100 Tibetans have self-immolated since 2009 to protest what they say is Chinese repression of their culture. Christians around the world observe Palm Sunday. It's the beginning of Holy Week, one of the most significant weeks on the church calendar. And in Rome, Pope Francis led a procession before celebrating his first Palm Sunday Mass as the new pope. In Christian tradition, crowds waved palm branches at Jesus on his return to Jerusalem before he was killed. And that is the news at this hour from The Voice of America. For more on these and other stories anytime from around the world, go to voanews.com. I'm Christopher Cruz, VOA News, Washington.